following the disturbing images at the weekend's event that took place during the 110th commemoration of the Estual Amazulu King, the New Zulu Katechwaya, where we saw the MEC for in Guazulu Natal, Sboni Sotuma, who is the MEC for Economic Development as well as Environmental Affairs, uh, grabbing the microphone uh, uh, from um, the from Tula Caesar uh, Botelezi, who is the traditional Prime Minister. So the ANC today is holding a media briefing here in Guazulu Natal just to chart the way forward. As they said, that they've learned valuable lessons from that event, and then they'll chart the way forward. Let us welcome uh, Mr. Pegim Dolo, who, who is the secretary of the ANC in the province of Guazulu Natal, just to get uh, some of the lessons that we've said that we have learned from the event that took place, because we know that there were some intentions that has been uh, sparked, especially between the ANC and the IFP, as well as Amabuto. We saw yesterday also the Asian donors are able to holding a media briefing, urging uh, Mr. Duma to ensure that he goes uh, to the Zulu monarch to apologize or tender his apology. No, no, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, indeed, uh, we have learned uh, valuable lessons and uh, good and bad. But what we have just noticed as the ANC in Rosuna, which we have said in our statement boldly, is that. Uh, there are people who are politicians parading as a, or wearing the cap of being a, a Zulu people and all that, who even in the incident of Kwakwela, they are selective in the application and how they see things because they only uh, comment on when the chairperson of the ANC in his capacity MC, intervened to prevent an, a calamity and the anarchy that was about to be happen where uh, the traditional prime minister of Zulu Monarch just out of a blue decided to uh, remove the cap of being a traditional prime minister and they entered into politics and wanted to attack the African National Congress. And we understand that uh, uh, that was designed solely to, for two things, to disrupt the program and also uh, to tarnish the image of the ANC, of which the ANC chairperson could not allow that. And what we have learned from that is that uh, what has happened that he had no choices to either choose to keep quiet and that anarchy uh, continues and then the whole event uh, go into disarray or he has to intervene the way he has intervened uh, which now forced him to intervene and reprimand uh, Mr. Butelezi in front of the king, the president, for which uh, he has apologized and we also feel that he has apologized. But we have also, I myself as a provincial secretary of the ANC in Guazunata, because I've got a strong relationship and a close relationship with the king. I phoned the king two days ago and I want to just uh, confess, when I phoned the king, I was like shivering. But uh, the king started with breaking in the open eyes and say, Hey, I'm tall. Hey, Nenzan. I'm Sagwas. Then I saw that the king is breaking the eyes, wants me to be comfortable. I said, uh, You know, the Zulu culture, what has happened in Guatemala uh, is unfortunate. And then we want to come through the Zulu custom and culture to you. And then he said, No, it's fine. Uh, he gave me a simple to his humwa. Uh, preparing to go there to do what is called to perpetuate Silueni. And then we've also said, because in terms of the Zulu culture and tradition, we've also spoken with the House of Traditional Leaders led by Uncle Sushinga. Today in the morning, we've written a letter to them uh, uh, that they must uh, do what is called Ustwala. Which is a great. Let's think uh, if everything goes on according to plan, then on Friday we'll, we'll. But we are calling upon everybody in Guazulu Natal to try by all means to not drag the throne into politics and not use the Zulu uh, throne and the Zulu monarchy uh, for political agendas, which are short term, are selfish. And then we must try, and I've tried in my statement to demonstrate that uh, the confusion around the, tra the, 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 the traditional prime minister to Zulu nation as if now is a democratic dispensation that does not want to recognize him in government. I've demonstrated from the act from 1972, 1974, 1987, 1990, even at a time when the provincial, the Kwazulu government was led by Prince Mangosutu Butelezi in the 80s. Uh, there was no such a position that was ever created for the position of a traditional prime minister. It is an arrangement of the monarchy 
to do things at the monarchy level. When it comes to government, there are positions that are recognized in government. And we are also saying we must dispel this notion that some body somewhere must rise up in a program of government and introduce the king. We are saying, uh, let, let's be all be fair. People who are honest and the people who are truthful who still, who, who still carry what is called uh, 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 honesty and you can trust them. They know that nobody can introduce the king. The, the king is who I am to stand up and introduce the king and read the biograph of the king. Uh, uh, the king is introduced by uh, uh, Inus. The Ninos, when the king comes, once you finish your speech, the Ninos comes in and introduces the king. What happened that the program director says, now the king is about to speak. The Ninos knows it's already ready. Then it will then uh, lead those praises and then lead those praises and then the king approach the podium. But it's something that is used politically to undermine the democratic and elected government in Guazulu Natal. But we don't have a problem with the king appointing him as a traditional prime minister to do things at the royal family and the, and the, and the kingdom. But uh, he must not think that he must be then afforded some sort of power that does not exist in government because it does not exist. There are, there are positions, for example, in the institution of traditional leadership that are recognized in government. You can start from the king, the queen, uh, the, the senior traditional leader, then uh, uh, the traditional leader in Kosi, then uh, 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 the headman in Duna and all that, then uh, you, you, you also have other positions that are meant to keep uh, the institution of traditional leadership to carry the custom and all that, like in Duna Zamabuto, Umkuzo Mabuto, like for example, in Duna Zain Sizwa, Umpatu in Tumbi. Those are, 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 are positions that, but you can't go to an event and you think in the in an event where the mayor or a district mayor is tooling a budget, then you expect that uh, there will be a sign where in Duna Zain is going to come and speak, uh, in Kriza will come and speak, there's no such a thing. Because we we know that those rules, that's where they start, where they end.